Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain Gaussian classifiers. So, Gaussian classifier assume that class densities follow normal distribution. So as you can see, uh, there is an assumption that data is following some distribution. So it lies under parametric methods. Okay. Now I'm going to take a sample data. Let's say I'm having data of height and gender. So let's say height. And then gender boy or girl. So let's say girl, girl, boy, boy, girl, girl. So I'm having data in this manner. So the thing is that uh, the problem is that given this data now some height will be given let's say height 5.9 and you will be asked to find out the gender of that person so this height could be any number so the thing is that we need to find out this probability what we are given we are given height and we need to find out gender so I'm writing here class so here we are having two classes so Gaussian classifier how we are going to apply I'm going to show you here so the thing is that what the Gaussian classifier do we are going to compute probability that given height what is the probability of class Girl, and what is the probability of class boy given height so these two I need to compute these two probabilities okay let me take another page okay so from the previous one what we need to find out we need to find out this one And the data we are given, we are given height and we are given gender. Or we can say class. Now here we are going to do do this. Now we will use this equation and we will find out what is the probability for uh, a given person to be in girl class for a particular height. Okay. Now let's see how many quantities from this equation we already know. So probability of class girl. So what you need to do in order to calculate this probability what uh, the, in your data set just count data uh, just count those data where class is girl so let's say one two three four and the total number of data we are having these are 20 so pg will be uh, sorry four upon 20. Now we need to find out what is the probability of 
a given height. So let's say we need to find out gender of a person with height 6. So in this case p height means in this data set count number of data where height is 6. So let's say 6 data having height 6. So 6 upon 20. Now the question is that how to compute this one. So here the assumption is made that this probability follow Gaussian distribution. Okay, now as we know Gaussian distribution, the probability for Gaussian distribution is given by So if we know mu and sigma, then we can compute probability. Okay, probability of x. So how we are going to find out mu and sigma? So what you need to do in this given data set, separate data according to the class. Let's say I'm uh, listing all the heights which belong to class girl. So these are those data. Okay. This is just the sample. Okay. So I have taken all the heights which belong to class girl. Okay. Now and I'm saying that this data is following normal distribution. Now the problem is that I don't know what is mu and what is sigma. So what I will do, I will compute their average and it will be mu. And then I will compute standard deviation for this data and use sigma. So look for this mu and sigma. Now same process we will do for boy class. We will list all the heights which belong to class boy. We will compute mu2 and sigma2. So here what we will do uh, in order to compute this particular probability we will use mu1 and sigma1 and so here instead of x we will use given height. So whatever entity we will get here, whatever quantity sorry quantity we will get here we will put it here so in this manner we will get probability of g given height so in this manner let's say we have computed this one and we got 3.4 now in the similar manner we also compute one or let's say we got this one 6.7 so as you can see that this probability is higher than this one so we will conclude that class uh, for a given height is boy okay so the steps are uh, compute PG and PB. These are just the number of class instances. Okay, divided by total number of data instances. Now compute P height. Okay, and third uh, compute. mu and sigma for each class. So how we are going to do that? We will take data which belong to a particular class, we will take their average, we will compute the standard deviation, that will be the parameter for that particular class and we will plug in these values in the 
uh, Gaussian distribution probability function and we will compute that probability and finally we will use all these value to compute this one right so p so this is Gaussian distribution thank you very much for watching